Okay, so we've already built the function rule for this scenario. Let's add on just a little bit more. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at this. What does the X mean in this scenario? Well, take a look at your rate of change. And since it's got the X doing that, take a look at the 4200 in the story problem. And you would see that it is linked um, with that per hour. So it's 4200 gallons per hour. And it's, it's pretty common in um, functions that it'll be time related in the X. Not always, but, but pretty common. And uh, that's what the X means there. It just means that X equals the number of hours. So when it says how much fuel is left after 96 hours, well, um, it's not too difficult to imagine what's going to happen here. We have a, a function rule here. And so if you remember the input-output machine, if, if we shove a number in, it's going to shove that value into the rule and spit out the result. So 96 is the number of hours. That is your x. So you would basically just say 900,000 minus 4,200 times 96, and out spits out the result of 496,800 gallons. So there's your there's answer. That's how many gallons of fuel is left. Uh, also, that works with any other number you want to shove in for X. So if I put in zero hours, in other words, the cruise ship's not left yet, um, you'd have 900,000 gallons of, of fuel left. When we take a look at, at uh, the situation with John and his savings account, here's our function rule. And, you know, if we said, what does the X represent? Well, since that's tagged into our rate of change, that 25, go back to the story problem and take a look at it. It's $25. Well, that's what the 25 means, $25. But what's the other unit tagged to it? And you can see it says each week. There's that cycle where it's going to happen again and again. So that just means X is going to be equaling the number of weeks. So with our input-output machine there, you know, we've got our function rule. We can shove in the number of weeks, the X, and get Y, which is just going to be how much money John has in his account. So if we shoved in 52 for 52 weeks, we can literally get $1,400. So um, that's how this works.